Logan, you led the running back room in carries on Saturday. What was it like to be able to implement yourself in a big way? Um, it felt it felt really good, you know. Uh, I feel like all season, you know, as a running back room, you know, we compete every single day, you know. Uh, finally, have an opportunity to to affect the game in the, in the, in, the, in the run game was, was was really it felt really good and it was really beneficial to the team at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, I guess to. I guess Saturday was my day, you know what I mean? I had a, had a really good good week of preparation, and um, I felt like I was really prepared to go out there, you know, and face whatever challenges came my way. And at the end of the day, I feel like as an old line, they really, really blocked well. So, I mean, it was, a really, it was really a lot of things that, that helped open up the run game. It's not just one thing I could just, you know, take credit for, you know. It was the quarterback trusting me. It was the head coach, the running back coach trusting me as well. So I'm really grateful for that. And after one of your big runs in the red zone, uh, McLaughlin and kind of, you know, some contact. Mm -hmm. I seen Will Campbell go over, and it seemed like, you know, he had like an overprotective type moment. Speak about that relationship you have with the O-line and just how you've been able to develop that so quickly. Um, I mean, those, those are my brothers, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the O-line is, is a running back's best friend, you know. So when you come in, you really want to build that connection with your O-line and you want to build that connection with your quarterback. So when I came in, I made an emphasis to know that, you know, you know, I love y'all, you know, at, at the end of the day. Uh, I, I, I only can go as far as you guys take me, so I'll never take credit for, for you know, having a successful day. i always, you know, always point back to the old line. So they, had a, they did a really good job. Hey, Logan. Um, you know, following up kind of what he, uh, he asked, you know, um, with – when things get kind of heated like that, it can be hard for somebody to, you know, keep their cool. You know, what, what's your what's your mindset, you know, going through that or, uh, your, you know, your headspace when something happens like that? Uh, I feel like I didn't I didn't been through the worst, you know. So uh, I feel like, you know, something as little as, you know, maybe a hard time during a football game isn't that serious, you know. Um, and it really comes with a with a level of focus, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I go in every game. And every play, I mean, I, it's, it's lock in, focus, reset, you know, forget so everything. And it's just like a constant running clock. And it's the same thing every single play. So, I mean, during the, 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 the heat of time, you just, you know, you got to keep a level head. And at the end of the day, you got to be humble about everything, you know. I feel like that's what really helps, really helps. You told us a few weeks ago that winning's hard, especially in the SEC. Y'all are 2-0 in conference play already. What's it like, you know, how do y'all keep that momentum going you know, into the rest of the SEC schedule? Um, I really want to say it's just motivation at the end of the day. You know, uh, we all know what we're playing for. We all, we all gel together because at the end of the day, I mean, we want to go compete for a national championship, you know. And um, like I said, you got to have short-term memory loss, you know. So you win the game, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's good while it lasts. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to move on to the next week because, you know, Every team that we're gonna play, gonna, you know, they're gonna they're gonna, they gonna give us our, um, their best shot. So we gotta be on our, our on our on our p's and q's all the time. I don't know how much time you spend around with Weeks here. Yeah. First time we've interviewed him, he just seems to have this contagious excitement, huh? Like he never has a bad day. Is that is one that what those, he's like? One of those guys, you know, uh, freshman freshman in college. You know, he just he happy to be here at the end of the day, you know, and. And, you know, getting getting to go out there and especially live your dream, you know, I mean, what what is there, you know, not to be happy about, you know, he's 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 a high energy guy, you know, the, even the defense feeds off him and, and that and that speaks a lot about him as a person, you know. Uh freshman on defense, starting in the SEC and then the guys around you are, you know, gelling to you like like you've been here forever. So that that speaks a lot about him as a person. He's hit you a few times at practice. Not that I remember. Not that I remember. <laughs> Just curious what, you know, if you ever scrimmaged against him or what do you see out of him as a player, a young linebacker? Um, I probably would say he's really instinctive, really instinctive and a really patient linebacker. You know, uh, he's, he's going to do his job. He's going to let the front do their job, and he's going to be there to, you know, to make the play. You know, um, the front, they, they do a lot of different stunts and games, and, you know, he's always he's in the right spot. You know, he's one of those players that you know he's going to go out there, he's going to do his job, man. He's going to help others do their job as well. Every time Coach Kelly's asked, who's your lead running back, he always responds, we don't have a lead running back. It's whoever has the hot hand. What's it like competing in a running back room with this kind of depth, and how does that make you a better runner? 
I mean, it, it keeps you humble, man. It keeps you, it keeps you, keeps you level-headed. You know, uh, you know, in this game, it's, it's it's easy to start feeling yourself. It's easy to get a get a big head at the end of the day. But you know, having that having that kind of that push by the by the head coach, you know, letting you know that yeah, you did good, but I still want more. You yeah, you you had a good day, but it's still not enough. You know, that that just makes you it creates this fire inside of you. Just you just want to keep on going. You want to get better and better and better. So I feel like the whole running back room as a whole, I mean, they all take that personally, you know. Oh, uh, Logan had a good day, but at the end of the day, it's still it's still my job to take, you know what I'm saying? And, and they go out there and they push me every day and I go out there and I push them, you know. So it really creates a, a great level of competition in your running back room. Yeah, I mean, I would say How do you feel about this game? I mean, you've gone on the road already in the SEC and won in Mississippi State. Um, and now you're going to uh, to Oxford, going to be a real animated crowd, and uh, might be the best SEC team you played so far. How do you feel about this challenge? Um, you know, every SEC game is going to be hard, you know, and I, and I and I knew that coming to LSU, and I knew that, you know, just coming in, in college in general, you know, um, playing in the SEC is, 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 is tough, and especially going on the road playing in the SEC. So. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm really confident in our, in our offense. I'm really confident in the defense. And overall, I'm really confident in the coaches and in our preparation. You know, um, at the end of the day, all we can do is focus on and control what we can control at the end of the day, you know. And I uh, feel like the, it's always going to be the way that we prepare. If we go out and prepare hard this week, uh, the outcome is going to show in the game. If, if we don't, then it's, it's after the game and we got to reflect on what we didn't and what we did do wrong um, throughout the week. So. Um, I'm really confident in, in our team to, you know, to go out and out take take us against anybody. We spoke to Emory Jones earlier about the offensive line really attempting to create those lanes for you guys to run. What do you do within those lanes that are created to make sure that you get as much yardage as you can against a defensive line that doesn't typically give up space? Um, uh, I feel like if I tell you, it's kind of like giving away my – my 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 sauce but uh i think it's really really uh patience at the end of the day you know um you got to understand the blocking scheme you got to know what your old line doing at the end of the day you know so i know the combos the blocks and how 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 they want to play blocking what they want it to be ran at you know so uh i allow the old line to do their job and i i I wait for them and take my time, go go through my reads and go through my progressions, and, and I hit I hit it where where it is, well what 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 they want it to be hit at, or if you have to you know create. I mean that's that's the position that I play. Uh, you play running back. Sometimes you got to create and be a football player. Sometimes I do that as well. So. Uh, I asked this to Emory earlier, but how does practicing with the crowd noise really help you guys, especially as an offense? Because I know at a, when you're a visiting team, things can get really loud, especially in Oxford. How do you, how does it help you guys prepare um, with the crowd noise? Um, I would say when we go out there, you, it's a different level of focus, you know. Uh, like when we played in Mississippi State, when we went into halftime, we were just thinking, we started talking as offers, we were like, Cowbells are non-existent, you know. So, cause we we uh we they ran cowbells the whole week uh during practice. So I I mean I feel like practicing those conditions, you know, you get used to it. So kind of when you get out there, I mean, all you really hear is each other, and you hear the coaches, and and you hear your, your sideline, you know. And, um, and I feel like that's the kind of team that we have. We we have a we have a a bubble, and I feel like you know that 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 um, that reflects kind of who we are as a team. Okay, just for fun, you seem like a pretty mellow guy. Mm -hmm. Did the Sean Womack dance? That was not mellow, was it? What did you that think of it? Not mellow at all. <laughs> but that's, uh, I think that's, uh, I think that's kind of like a Baltimore dance, like a Baltimore Bob. That's where he's from. So I mean, he, uh, he got out there and he and he did his dance, you know. So I mean, I, I mean, I supported that thing the day. It was, it was cool to see. I mean, that's not really my stock. I don't really like to dance or nothing like that. But I mean, that I mean everybody got their own cup of tea, and I mean, I support it. You know, I'm a high energy guy as well. So I was just in the Super Bowl too. Oh yeah. <laughs>